Hello everyone. Once upon, a once upon a time a man had a dream and he was taken to the next world. First of all he was given a vision of hell and what he saw was people sitting at a long festive table which was laden with every kind of exotic food and delicacies. The snag was that they had to eat it with knives and forks which were five feet long. They were continually yelling their anger and frustration as the food lay temptingly before them and not one morsel could they put to their lips. Then the man was taken to heaven and what he saw there was basically the same. The food was exactly similar. The knives and forks were the same length as in hell but all were enjoying themselves. Those on one side of the table were using their knives and forks to feed the people on the other side. Tives, or the rich man, he was dressed in the most expensive clothes, purple and fine linen, and he feasted extravagantly, not just now and again, but every day. To clean his fingers, he would use chunks of bread, which would then be tossed under the table where the dogs were waiting. Lazarus would have gladly eaten those scraps of bread, given half a chance, but the dogs got there first. The name Lazarus means God helps. This means that he was a good man who put his trust in God, even in the midst of his misery. The rich man wasn't nasty towards Lazarus, he just ignored him. He pretended he wasn't there. St Vincent, whose feast we celebrated here last Friday, didn't ignore the terrible plight of the galley slaves of his day. He said, The galley slaves are abandoned into the hands of merciless men. It is a slow death sentence. I saw these people treated like animals. Vincent sought to give them both physical and spiritual assistance. Metaphorically speaking, Lazarus still sits at our gate in all sorts of shapes and guises. The homeless, the refugees, the disabled, the unborn baby. In fact, anyone in need of our love and attention. We keep seeing on the telly the hungry faces of children suffering from food shortages as a result of war or drought or global warming, while we, like Dives, throw tons of food away. Are these images a poignant example of present-day Lazarus? For a lot of people, however, Lazarus doesn't have a voice so he can be quietly ignored, just what the rich man did. A blind eye can also tend to be turned to the plight of children in different areas of the world who work long hours for a pittance and in very unhealthy environments. In last Sunday's Gospel, Jesus says, Use your resources in this world to win new friends, so that when you depart this life, those same friends will be waiting to welcome you into eternity. If Lazarus had been treated decently, he would have been a very useful contact for Dives on the other side. But the plight of Lazarus didn't stir his conscience one little bit. He kept on feasting every day. On the day of judgment, those on Christ's left hand would ask him, When did we see you hungry, thirsty, naked or in any need? A lot indeed will be weighing on his answer. Thank you all very much for listening and God bless you all.